All right, here's the deal. Following our latest tech update, catch one of the most insightful calls from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. Every day, we're living in what can only be called a hyper-connected world. Everyone's connected. Smartphones make voice and video calls. Everyone can text, read, or send an email. But loneliness is at epidemic levels. I'm Kim Commando, brought to you by T-Mobile. Their advanced network now goes farther than ever before. Visit T-Mobile.com 55 today. The promise of our hyper-connectivity was that everyone could connect with everyone, anytime, anywhere. But we're lonely. In England, the United States, and Canada, a staggering 40% of us go at least three days without a real, live, face-to-face conversation with another human. Even with employees back in the office, up to a quarter of them are still lonely, even while at work. Loneliness affects their confidence, anxiety, and sleep patterns, and those most affected are 18 to 24, the very ones who are robbed of social contact in high school during the COVID lockdown. Gen Z is a very lonely generation. Join a half a million folks who get tech smart with my free newsletter. Sign up at getkim.com. As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show, Daly in Waco, Texas. Hi there, Daly. Hi, Kim. Welcome. I'm so, thank you. I'm pumped to be able to talk to you. Uh, I listen to you every week. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. How can I help you? Well, I have all my parents' letters from 1958 on to their parents. I have their 35 millimeter slides from the early days and my dad's journal. And these are from times they were in Korea. And I need to know how I can put those together, especially the letters. Mm. Uh, Okay. Did you hear that sigh, Daly? <laughs> did you hear that? I, was like, <laughs> I did, because okay. I've been having that problem myself. Okay. Well, because there's really, you know, I wish I could give you like an easy, quick fix, right? Like, go do this, go do that, you know. But you're going to need a great scanner, uh, and uh, and then you're going to, you know, unfortunately, you know, you're not going to be able to have any any real probably way to have the computer put them into transcripts for you. Um, because of the age of the letters. Do um, you want to make like a book out of them, or what do you want to do? Yeah, I would like to. I mean, not to publish, but I would like to take pieces of their letters and put them together with my dad's journal and the slides that go along with them, and it would be just something for the family to have okay, to read. That would be, posterity. you know what? That would be beautiful. That would be so awesome, Daly. I mean, what a great legacy gift that is, and where you could create a coffee table book for every family member or every head of every family so that they could pass it down generations. And so let's just start with the 35 millimeter slides. Okay. You can do those yourself with a slide scanner. Epson makes a great one. And they also make a, Epson also makes a great photo scanner, by the way. So you have, you have ways that you can do the slides yourself if you want to do that. If not, you can mail them to places like Legacy Box or iMemories. Okay. Uh, with the letters themselves, you're going to need a good flatbed scanner. And then you're going to bring them into your computer as a picture. And then, you know, you can save them. You can uh, embellish them. And, and you can even, like, pull out, do pull-out quotes. And this is going to be a fabulous project. Now, your places like Shutterfly, and they, they will actually give you templates to make the photo book. But we have to start at the beginning before we get to the photo book. And that's me recommending... Uh, a couple of places for you to send away for the slides that I trust and that I've used, which is Legacy Box and I've used iMemories. Uh, both of them are very good companies. And then you also need a great photo, uh, a great desktop scanner, OCR scanner. Maybe you could try some OCR. So I'm going to go shopping for you, daily, with your money, of course. And I'm going to put some links over inside the Q&A forum for you. Uh, some scanners and also some tips we have on our site about when you start approaching these type of projects. But they are just beautiful, beautiful photo books once you get them done. But it does take some time. You better start now just in time for Christmas. And Daly, thank you for your kind words. A standing ovation to you for tuning in. Yay! Now, if you're puzzled by a tech issue, here's your call to action. Head to commando.com, select Email Kim. I read each and every note like it's the final round in a tech trivia game. And you can amp up your tech know-how by getting my free daily newsletter. It's just waiting for you over at getkim.com.